Good morning. Hope everybody had a great Easter yesterday. We had uh, the whole family home, which was really fun. See all the grandkids, all the kids. Went into my dad's and uh, we had Easter with him also. But back to work. Um, yeah, seed boxes, seed. Wanna get them stacked up over here on the other side. So we gotta move the water trailer and the sprayer. And then get uh, move a, one pallet of chemicals and get the pumps, three inch pumps off the top shelf there. So before we stack everything up. Got them all stacked up by maturities. We got one more box to come, and then uh, that bags is what Kelvin's, Kelvin's corn. So we're getting one step closer to spring. Just need it to warm up. Another cold, rainy day. Spring is definitely not here now. Thought we'd change hub oil on this. Preventive maintenance, we're ready for when it's time to roll. Well, we found a, some bad oil on that one. As far as I can tell, the bearing hasn't hurt yet. But we're going to have to keep an eye on that one. Had some water in it, I think. Glad we're changing hub oil on these. The other three are just black oil that needed to be changed. Getting to the row unit finally. Another cold windy day outside, so shop day. Trying to find the uh, link, connector link on this chain. Not having very good luck, but this row unit is coming back four inches. Well, we ran into something I have never seen before, but this chain has no connector link on it. I don't know how they got it in through there. Take that bolt off, I suppose, and put it in, but... Huh. Crazy. First for everything. We got the 24-inch uh, arms in. But one thing I did not figure in was the support bracket for the airbag. We had to move that back from that hole back to here and i did not order that longer bracket i didn't didn't realize that so that'll be coming in friday we can put that back together and then finish this row kobe's given the tr310 a little tlc today doing our annual servicing getting it ready to pick rocks Spring, spring cleaning, spring servicing, I should say. Yeah, by the looks of that oil, it was definitely time to change that. It's only got 500 and, what, 70 hours on it, Kobe? What? Only about 570 hours on there. Yeah. And we've done it once before, but it gets a lot of, a lot of travel running around fields picking rocks you can tell that on the tracks are all cracking which is kind of sad it's not that many hours on this machine but kobe's doing a little house cleaning today down on the pit got the last 30 units of seed in yesterday late Kobe serviced the lawn more, but the battery was dead, so we didn't get that washed up. Skid loader is all serviced. Hub oil, engine air, cab filter. And now, I got the uh, government juice pump in. Our other one could not be rebuilt. Well, we got a, 
Another $700 bill to keep the government happy. better give you an update I did a video today which I probably should have I get give you a caught up where we did today got 305 hooked up the field elevator that's all ready to go Calvin and Kobe replaced the shovels that needed replacing greased it check the tires that is good to go and out here we got the corn planter out we got all the disc, corn discs put in, uh, service the air compressor, but here's the problem. They did an update on the monitor because we ran this planter on a Pro 700 last year. This year we're trying to run it on the Pro or the 1200 because I've got it on the 620 this year. And we're having issues. the eight row units that have you have to fold up to fold the planter just automatically drop all of a sudden there's a glitch in the software so they came out to try to do another update today couldn't make it work so he's coming back tomorrow but uh tomorrow we are going to this is monday Tomorrow he's going to come back with a new update, hopefully, and get everything working. We're going to water, rinse out the antifreeze, and water test it, check for leaks, check the tires for air pressure, and then this planter should be ready to go. And we are going to get the sprayer water tested, or checked over, nozzle switch for 32%, and we are going to start spraying on... Friday so looks like 70 degrees get everything sprayed Friday Saturday Sunday Monday and uh, I think there's a chance of rain Monday afternoon half inch which would be perfect get it rained in so yeah things are coming along really fast so Oh, and we also got the water tanks rinsed out and the pump ready for that. So we're ready to take our 32 delivery. So there should be a lot of action coming up. Oh, and one more thing that we got done. We put the new belt in the seed tender. As you can tell, these things right here, were breaking off here, it cracked really bad. And they were uh, giving us fits last year. Plugging up the bulk fill planter. So we got that belt put in. What do you think, Max?
uh, nothing has changed on the bin pad. Haven't had time. Well, I'm kind of waiting for the big excavator to come back. I tried to the little one. It's that's useless. Too thick a cement. We got the seed tender ready to go. Probably going to use that one on corn. And then we got another one from a neighbor that we're going to use on beans that we're buying from him. 